Hello everyone, I'm John, and I'm here today to show you how to check out OverDrive eBooks onto your basic Kindle that has a black and white screen. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is open up a web browser from any device. Here I'm using an Apple laptop and going to open up Google Chrome. Navigate over to Amazon's website by typing Amazon.com into the search bar and hitting enter. You need to first sign into your Amazon account, so hit the sign in button. Enter your email address and password associated with your Amazon account that is connected to your Kindle, then hit sign in. Click on the Your Account menu. From the drop down list, select Manage Your Content and Devices. Next, click on the Your Devices tab. If you are signed into the account that is connected to your Kindle, you will see your Kindle listed under the Your Devices tab. Now, let's go over to the OverDrive website. Open up a new tab in your browser and type into the search box overdrive.ebccls.org. Then, click on Sign In. Enter your library card number and you'll be finished the sign up process. When done, hit the sign in button. You will now see the home page of the OverDrive website. Here you can browse and search for ebooks and e audiobooks. This menu gives you browsing options. To open and close it, hit the menu button. To search for a particular title or author, click within the search box, type in what you are looking for, and click on the magnifying glass or hit enter. You will see two types of icons for titles, <clears throat> one for ebooks and the other for e audiobooks. These icons come in two colors, black and gray. Black means the title is available right away. Gray indicates the title is currently unavailable and you can put a hold on it. Let's scroll down to see some more titles. Let's check out the ebook here called Falling. When you click on the cover, you will see the borrow option since the ebook icon was black. Let's click on more to see more details about the ebook. Here you can read a bit more about the title. You can also see information about title availability in the sidebar. This is helpful to look at if you have to put a title on hold because it will tell you how many people are ahead of you in the queue. This will give you an indication of how long it may take before a title is available for checkout. Before you hit the borrow button, you want to make sure that you see Kindle Book listed as an available format. Now, click on borrow to begin the checkout process. Now you'll be prompted to go to checkouts. Click on it and you'll be taken to the checkouts page. You can access this page at any time by clicking on the, the account menu. To the right, you will see a sidebar called my account. Take note of your checkout limit, which is five. That means you can check out five titles at one time. Also, your hold limit is the same, meaning you can put five titles on hold at one time as well. To see what titles you have on hold, Click on the Holds option just under Checkouts. I want to point out one more feature on this page before we check out this title. Take note of the Renewals feature. This is where you will renew a title, if you like, after it has been checked out. This option becomes available within three days of the title's due date. Now, let's check out this title. You will see two options on the checkout page, one to download and the other to read. For this purpose, you want to click on Download. Clicking download will add the title to your Kindle and make the title available offline, which means you can access it without an internet connection like when you're at the beach or driving in your car. The read option means that you'll be streaming the title within a web browser, meaning you need an internet connection to access the title. When you click on download, you'll be prompted to choose a file format. For this purpose, always click on the Kindle book option. Take note, no, excuse me, take note though, by downloading the title to your Kindle, it will take up some room on your device. So be sure that you have enough available free space on your Kindle. After you've selected Kindle book, click on confirm and get Kindle book. Now you'll be taken over to amazon.com. Make sure that you select your Kindle in the deliver to drop down menu. Next, Click on Get Library Book. 
You should now see a screen telling you that the Kindle ebook from Overdrive has been sent to your Kindle. The next time you turn on your Kindle, make sure that you're connected to a Wi Fi connection. If you are, you should see the Overdrive ebook appear on the home screen of your Kindle. The ebook is now available offline and you do not need an internet connection to access it. To start reading the ebook, click on the cover. Once the ebook reaches its due date, which is two weeks after the checkout date, it will expire from your Kindle and you will not be able to access it. If you would like to manually return the ebook earlier than its due date or delete it from your Amazon Kindle account, navigate back to the Amazon website and click on your account. Select manage your content and devices from the drop down list. To delete the ebook, click within this box and then hit delete. To return the ebook earlier, click on the actions button next to the title. Next, click on the return this book option within the drop down menu. Take note on this screen, you can also see the due date of the ebook as well. So let's review the basics. You can check out ebooks onto your basic Kindle. You can check out five titles at one time. There's a 14 day lending period. Uh, automatic returns of titles, and there's also a manual return option as well. There's a limited copies of titles, meaning you need, you need to put some of them on hold. You can place five titles on hold at one time. All done. If you need any help using our eLibrary services, please do not hesitate to get in touch.